calls me to order. We do some talk about microphones. Is that something we, we should be using? Or should we? As long as you speak loudly enough, it does it does catch it. All right, I'll try. <laughs> okay, the first order of business, I guess, is the uh, minutes from last time. Did everybody get a chance to review? Yeah. Any additions or changes? I don't know. Okay, just, just so you're aware, it looks like we do have two people on who are going to take advantage of the public hearing being left open. Okay. I think I recognize the names Bill Georgiani and John Drakowski. So, and I got Gary Robinson on. Gary, can you hear us? I can hear you. Okay, we can hear you. Can we have a motion to approve the minutes? I'll make a motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Well done as always. Um, and so we'll move on to uh, I think the only book where business is the uh, appeal. Yeah, yeah, it's continuation of appeal 835. 835, okay. And we've got some, some additional information. Um, and the public hearing is still open. So, um, Mr. Robinson, can you tell us anything more about the additional information you've given us? Um, at the last meeting, um, what you had requested was a copy of the plans that we looked at when we originally started this. And I, I gave you a little dissertation about how we move through looking at alternatives. And I got to say that most of those alternatives were just a sketch that we were looking at when we did it. I just put it on some paper and on AutoCAD so you could get a better look at it. It's easier to read. But, um, you know, event, essentially what we did was we just looked through to see, because we had talked to Jim and he said, you know, that flag lots were an option. And we looked at, we had looked at the cul-de-sac and we had looked at the, um, the well, the, the five lot um, common drive and uh, didn't, um, you know, didn't think that anything was really um, a, a good option except for the two, the cul-de-sac and, uh, and the common driveway, the one common driveway, which right after DOT got involved, it was became a common driveway for four and then the one additional driveway. Um, we did uh, talk to, uh, you know, for the call this act, we talked to Paul Joseph. We looked at some different, um, you know, disadvantages to having the call this act, and no doubt that the call this act would probably be a little more money. Um, but I mean, there was there was a lot of disadvantages besides that. And like I say, when we talked to Paul Joseph, that kind of led us toward the uh, one common driveway. Um, so that's how we got there. Um, and hopefully that gives you an idea. If you, if you did read that dissertation I put together, uh, hopefully that gives you an idea where we went. We we'd still like to use that that common driveway. We're we're not really, you know, what we're asking for is just that the frontage for uh, three of the lots is on that common driveway instead of on Route 197. Um, and I'm. I'm thinking that's it. I think if you have any questions about the different alternates, I mean, I know, you know, the first one, which was just with the with the common driveways when we looked at it, that was just a crazy one. But that is one of the things we looked at up front. Uh, once Jim, Jim told me about that, and and they just they don't like the common driveways just because it it changes the lot so much, and there's a lot of of the lot actually wasted. Um, that, that can't be used just because there's driveways on it and it's so long um, to get down to the back of the lot. And um, that, again, that's how we got to where we got. Um, we're still requesting that we can use that common driveway. And, you know, we provided the agreement that we've used in the past that's been successful. And um, I'll, I'll answer any questions. Um, Hey, I, I think the, uh, the write-up that you gave us gives a pretty good description of what your, uh, you know, the process that you've gone through and, and all that. 
And just as a reminder, again, we do have two people on. I, I, I don't know if they want to talk or not, but they are on the, the list here. Does the board have any questions about? I don't. I, I would love to hear from who members on uh, some comments, any objections or concerns. All right. Uh, I've unmuted both Bill, uh, George, uh, Georgiani, and John Jakowski. Do either one of you have a, I'll go to Bill first. Do you have any comments? Bill? Bill, do you have any comments? Um, okay, how about John? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, John, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, I really, we, we don't really have concern about the development for the people in here because I live right back of where it's going. Um, our concern is that we've had a high water table the last two or three years from different situations. Um, Supervisor Kuzniak has helped getting with the state on 197 and cleaned out and we're on a wait and see mission to see if everything be clear this year. And um, my only, our only concern is make sure the, hopefully by this project going in, it will solve a lot of our water problems that we're having here. That is one of our, hopefully that it will solve, solve the problem. But um, the thing is, if you, I see water over on 32 now by 197 filling up the ditch again. So I know it's not part of your problem. It's been going on for a couple of years and then up on Gansert Road where Michelle Johnson lives, he's got water again this year already. Usually has it, but the other year we pumped, people were pumping in the fall of the year that never pumped before, you know? So it's a long complicated system. <laughs> And we're trying our best along with Supervisor Kuzniak and everybody else to make sure the water flows and it doesn't back up where people have the sump pump. My water, when Gardner sold me the land, he couldn't sell it until the, my water table was down in the well. And it was down around 12 or 11, 12, 13 feet. I checked it about three, four years ago and it was down around 14. Since that time, it's gone up to about eight foot and even seven. When it gets to seven foot, then I have to start pumping myself. So it's gone up and it's staying right around eight, eight and a half feet. So it's risen up in the last, since between 2014 and 2018 or so, it was down there. In fact, it even went down around 15 feet. So we don't know where the water's coming from or where the water's going out. But um, one of the developments that happened was was the McKenna project and up by Michelle Jackson. She's, she, she was there all last year with water and never went away. So hopefully everything will work out good, but I just want, you know, people be aware of the zoning board of the, or the zoning board appeal about the water condition. And I hope that they do a good job out there. We have no concern about the houses, just that make sure that um, they, they put sellers in, everything will work out. Okay. Any questions for me or? I you. Let, me just tell, let me just tell you my, my kind of reaction to that immediately is, is not to pass the buck, but you, you need to talk to the planning board more about that because in terms of drainage and all that kind of stuff, that's really their bailiwick. We're really, you know, it doesn't really matter what we approve here in terms of drainage and, and that kind of stuff. It's really how it's built. And that's what the planning board. Yeah, 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 that's why I, that, that's why I didn't talk the previous two meetings. So I saw something in the last meeting when you had something about you said about the driveway and building it up with fill or something. So I just figured I'd mention it. So I appreciate it. Okay. Keep an eye on what the planning board does. Yeah, just 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 to clarify, John. Um, depending on what happens here, uh, the the property owner may advance to a, a subdivision with the planning board yep. in some way, shape, or form. And at that point, um, there will be a, a stormwater uh, pollution prevention plan prepared for the uh, project. And um, I think that drainage issue will come up at that time. And there will be another public hearing as a part of that proceeding as well at subdivision. So I think there'll be more progress made with the drainage issue then. Hopefully that's very good. Appreciate that. And we just didn't we didn't want to put another variant into why the water wasn't getting out of development, you know. Yeah, right, right. right. And we don't want to put it on on this guy. This guy starts it and all of a sudden say, well, the water's up again, everybody blames him when it's been other things that have contributed to it. That's all. 
I just yeah. don't want it all and, laying on this guy's shoulders after if something does develop. And from, from what I understand, there were some downstream blockages in that. And he, John's right, but my understanding is a very complicated system there. And there were some downstream blockages of that system uh, on the other side of uh, 197. That, is that the one over here in front of the development? Yeah, so yeah, that caused it to back up. That, that was put in because of the water table issue right. in that development. Right, and I, I think there were some blockages, and I'm not saying that's the, the whole issue, but it did appear to help when those blockages were removed. Yeah, and okay, I yeah. that, and we hope that, and that our building inspector has been tracking it. And I hope, too, Supervisor Kuzniak and the state and in the town, we got this, but I, like I say, I check my water and I like to have it go back down from the eight down to like 11 or 12, that's all. Then I know everything back to normal. Okay, I'm all done, let something else. All right, thank you, John, for your hey, comments. Hey, 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 thank you very much. But this Michelle's the problem up there, Johnson's up there by the McKenna project. She's really got it bad. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, so that's an opportunity for each individual to speak. I, I didn't see any indication from Mr. Giorgiani. He's still on, John's still on, but that's all the comment we got. My, uh, anybody please speak up. Well, I, I was just gonna say, having these different layouts that you had, the, to me, the, the uh, cul-de-sac drawing was exactly what we, were, we all felt was the right way to go. And, and it gives them all five of their lives. And, 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 and plus, that will give an opportunity for them. He was talking about water issues, but it also gets, uh, it, there's a lot involved with how you uh, design that water. So that would be beneficial too. There's more control over that with, with a, a road that meets the town requirements than there is with a uh, shared driveway. So I look at this and think this is the perfect thing right here. And you mean all that being you say that, right? Yeah. All that being, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> my feeling my, my about that, I've thought a lot about this, is that, you know, first of all, I'm way here. I drove through uh, Whipple Farm to Whipple. Um, development, which is right out of Tanglewood. Yeah. I, I drove through three cul two cul-de-sacs that had four houses. I don't think it's that unusual. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I just don't, I don't see why this, you know, why we should approve a variance that is a significant variance. It's no road for a frontage as opposed to 40 feet of road frontage. Um, when there's an alternative, this is called a set. Correct. Um, and, and the other ones, the other two that were cited were the McKenna, which was, they had the road frontage, but because of the geography, I believe, was why the sure driveway was approved. They are compliant lots. Yeah. Right. They happen to opt for a shared driveway to access them, but they are compliant lots, so there's no variance needed. And the planning board <clears throat> basically I think looked at some other factors that justified the, uh, the shared drive. Well, certainly, you know, I, I don't know that, um, you know, they were very, very narrow frontages, just one right after the other. And it's again, it's a state route. And I highly doubt the DOT would have allowed uh, the curb cuts there in such close proximity. Right, and they're not going to allow it right away, right away, right away. Right. As you saw in that one drawing for this. Right. The, the one drawing, the one proposal. Yeah. Plan here with the multiple driveways. Yeah, it would have looked a lot like that. I think Bill Works development theory that had a shared driveway. They also had to road frontage, but uh, it was very steep, so it made no sense to have driveways going off of those those lots into the road. It, it just yeah. There's a couple other subdivisions in the town that uh, were approved years ago um, with a similar situation as you suggest. They, on paper, they meet the they meet the requirement. They have the frontage, but given the lay of the land and the slope and all that, they're sharing a driveway uh, to access them as a practical matter. So we really don't have a precedent for that for this. And I think you know, I look at this and I say there there really is nothing extraordinary about this piece of property that requires that that subdivision to not have its own road, its own town road. And I think that was my. Uh, I think I mentioned it too, uh, Mr. Chairman. We try not to deviate the rules unless there's a 
good inherent need. We have three you know, major thresholds that we have to cross to, to really make that variance. I don't feel we've got the threshold. I don't see the hardship. This is a perfectly viable plan. It meets all the codes. It meets all the access. What's, I don't see what's wrong with alternate B as well. Uh, it's a single driveway. I don't, I don't know again. I don't, I don't see why. There's no need for variance in my eyes. It's, it's here. It works. It fits. Five lots. They're not taking a hit on that. We got a paved road, <laughs> safe, it's town maintenance, better drainage. We, we, I don't see the hardship of all the staff being here. You know, I, I couldn't have said it better. And, you know, I'm new to this, but I, I like, we want to work with the applicants, but I totally agree with everything that you just said. You know, and then we alleviate any potential concerns as far as uh, additional driveways on the onto a main road that's pretty busy. And then the other issue with, even though there's a contract that's worked in the past, we all know for sure that that will work in this situation. Mm -hmm. So to match point like though, I think uh, I'm in favor of the double sack mm -hmm. to all, yeah. all of those points. I couldn't agree more. The maintenance contract we looked at it, you know, before we could turn my money down the road. 5, 10, 25 years on second owners or third owners and so on and so forth. I think people come to us when there's a hardship and there's no other alternatives. Right. And I think we've proven here that there's many alternatives and one that we looks like we are are in your hands. And my other, my other thought is that these folks who are buying these lots who are buying them down the road are entitled to have the town maintain the road that keeps it to their place. You know, they're going to be paying taxes. Why shouldn't they have the road to take care of the roads? Um, I think we've closed, well, I'm going to close the open here. Um, I don't think we need to have a secret on this room. No. Okay. No, you can go right to a decision. <laughs> <laughs> so, I entertain a motion on a few number of 835. 835. I'll make a motion to deny the bill 839 for reasons that were put out. There is a hardship. There is a viable way to, to do the five lots, and we, and we believe that having the roadway meet the town's requirement of the planning process is going to be a better alternative to the water runoff and things like that. So I saw that. Any discussion? Any discusses? I appreciate the work you've done, Mr. Robinson. I really do. Yes. Um, and I, you know, I do appreciate your coming back and being very reasonable with us. Yep. No, that's okay. That's okay. We did the best we could. We, you know, I'm, I'm not sure that we may end up with a cul-de-sac anyway, but, um, you know, we'll see what happens down the road. Okay. Would you pull the board, please? I'm just guessing as to who's in there right now. Mr. Farrell? No. <laughs> it was, it was uh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, Mr. Elms? Yes. Mr. Manning? Yes. Mr. Fitzsimmons? Yes. Chairman? Yes. I don't think I'm going to tell you. The motion is carried. We deny them. Thanks, Gary. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have a motion to adjourn? Uh, I make a motion to adjourn. Oh, sure. Sorry. Oh, yes. Training. Yes. Now, how does that relate to the Glens Falls? We have a separate, don't we have a separate transportation commission or whatever it is? No. Um, the transportation council um, includes all of Sarah. Uh, all of uh, Adirondack Transportation Council includes all of Warren County, Washington County, and the town of Murrah. Okay. Right. The rest of Saratoga County is in the Capital District Transportation Council. Right. 
And we've met with them before. It, 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 it's a matter of where the metropolitan area is. And that the metropolitan boundary <laughs> includes uh, South Glens Falls and the town of Moreau. So they took that metro area and that was the basis for the their own transportation council. And we I know that because I used to serve on it. Well, did we have meetings with them too? Or, or, mm -hmm. It seems like we were uh, back when we were doing the comprehensive plan. Yes. We had meetings with them. Yeah, uh, they would have also chimed in on the corridor study that was done. As a matter of fact, they did it. Right, right. And um, they, they'll also, all the transit matters for the uh, Greater Glens Falls Transit Authority run through them. So yeah, that's the, they're, they're called municipal planning organizations, MPO, and they're the MPO for this region. But the cap, we can still participate in the capital? Yes, plan. yes, yep. And it's very interesting because they're very involved in the bike trails and all that. Yeah, I mean, yeah they, 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 they um, in all, all aspects of transportation. Multimodal transportation, yeah. yep, freight, so, uh, technically even, you know, airlines, all that stuff, yeah, vehicular. So, it's just very informative. When we met with them, I was quite impressed with the amount of information. I, I, I just wish we would all combine it. You know, we can't go to the end of one small period. Honestly, it's getting so that, you know, how many people can commute from one small period? Well, there, there, there's, there's advantages and disadvantages. Uh, you know, you. You, you do get your own budget. They get their own. They get their own allocation of funding. Although it's not nearly as big as capital district. Um, you know, we were always a poor stepchild, so to speak. Uh, but um, that is somewhat of an advantage. You have more focused review of your concerns because I think if you got in the capital district one, you'd be really diluted. It would, yeah. I, I think they've done a lot. They're, they're, I, I can tell you, as somebody who lives in the town of Glenville and on the town board, I'd like to. I'm trying to advance a, a roundabout in our community right now, and it's like, you know, you got to talk. You got to get past the, the colonies and the Lathams and the, all that before you start seeing any kind of money flow your way. Mm -hmm. So it's. There's <laughs> much there's something to be said on both sides. Oh yeah. yeah. That is our problem. Uh, Saratoga County looks at us like we're born at Glen Falls looks like we're here. Yeah, you are you're you're you're, you're, a, you're in the crossover yeah. Yeah. area. Definitely. We've always felt that way. We've always yeah. grown yeah. in the race as well. Yeah, yeah that's true too. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Really like kind of a hand on one that's been just talking about that side. Sure. And the is definitely Well, I guess we'll adjourn. Motion to adjourn? Motion. Motion. Second. Second. All right. Aye. All right. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Matt, thank you. I mean, I felt pretty strong. And everything you said was.